gas grills are great for cooking outdoors. They're clean, they heat up fast, and you can even introduce smoke flavoring using a smoking box like this that can be placed either on, on the grill itself or on the flavored icer box. Grills operate at a temperature of 350 to oh, 600 degrees or so. At those temperatures, wood smokers like this will generate smoke. It will be hot enough to do that. Smokers and barbecue, on the other hand, operate at much lower temperatures, temperature of 225 degrees to 250 degrees. At those temperatures, a smoker like this will just not generate smoke. It'll be too cool for it to do that. So one way to get around that problem when smoking and barbecuing at low temperatures is to use an electric smoker. Now this electric smoker was made with a 250 watt heating element with pigtails. The pigtails were connected to a three wire power cord, properly grounded. The smoking pan goes on top of the heating element. Wood chips go in the, in the pan and the cord is plugged into a 110 volt power supply. Wood chips are placed in a pan, the door is closed, and the power cord is plugged into a 110 volt outlet. Within about 15 minutes or so, you'll be generating smoke. Now these grills are designed to operate at higher temperatures and if you want to barbecue or smoke you have two options. You can buy a standalone smoker or you can modify this grill to act as a low temperature smoker and you can do that for about one third the price of a good quality smoker. To do that you'll need several elements. The first thing, element is a temperature controlling device. This device consists of a temperature sensor. The temperature sensor feeds information to the controller. You set the temperature that you desire your smoker to be operating at. In turn, the controller will power up a heating element or as in my case, I'll power up a relay that powers a 1500 watt heating element. So this is the controller and it is of course to be plugged into a 110 volt power supply as well. The controller turns on a relay and the purpose of this light bulb is to tell me when the relay is powered. The relay is powered uh, with a 110 volt power supply as well and the heating element which is a 1500 watt heating element plugs into here. And the reason that I use a relay is to separate the high wattage heating element from the sensitive electronics of the controller. Some controllers are designed to work at 30 amps, but like this one, for example. But I prefer to separate the high wattage, the high current elements from the controller itself. The relay, in turn, provides a 110 volt power supply to this 1500 watt heating element. These heating elements are widely available uh, over the internet or hardware stores. Uh, 1500 watts, some come with a built-in power cord 
others you have to put in a power cord. The grounding is not required for this heating element. And the base, uh, you'll need a base on which to rest the heating element. This is just a piece of, piece of metal um, that will act as a base and as a reflection, as a reflector. Now the way it works, in order to assemble it, we already have the smoker and now we're going to put in the heating element. We remove the grills, the grids, remove the flavorizer bars, and now you can see the, the smoker assembled uh, in the tray below. You pull that out slightly. Place the, re place the reflector on top of the burners, the gas burners. You feed the power cord through the barbecue, through the grill. You place a couple of supports underneath the heating element. You replace some of the replace some of the uh, flavorizer bars to support the water bath. You place the water bath over the flavorizer bars. You replace the grill. And now you're all set. You fill, of course, the water pan with water when you're ready to smoke. Once everything is set up, you're ready to plug things in and get ready to smoke. Typically for smoking Boston butts, I set my controller at 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107.2 degrees centigrade. This controller will maintain the temperature for the entire cooking time. One of the things that you may want to do is to Put some covers on top of the grill to reduce heat loss through the grilled surface. Happy smoking! The wood chips are here and they're smoking away. The temperature is set to 225 or actually 107 degrees um, Santa grade. Uh, it, the unit cycles off and on, so at this point it's 100, 104, so just under 225. And inside we have the water pan and we have the sensors. And the Maverick thermometer is showing uh, at this point uh, 55 for the for the meat, which is not in there yet, and, and 212 at this point for uh, the internal temperature of the, of, the, uh, of the grill. The relay is right here, and I've hooked up a light bulb to it to tell me when the heating element is actually on. When the heating element is off, the light turns off.
We're steaming to an internal temperature of 208 degrees and allowing the brisket to rest uh, for at least two hours in an insulated ice chest. I finish it off on a very hot grill to crispen the outside of the brisket.